So you want to make a clock in Blender, but you don't want to hand animate it and you don't want to use a video. Then my friend, you need geometry nodes. Start by opening up a Blender file and adding a plane. You can add any mesh, it'll be deleted anyway. Then at the bottom of the screen around here, drag up to add a new window panel, I don't even know. Here, change this to geometry nodes by clicking that little top left icon and hitting G on the keyboard. Create a new group. And over here, I'm gonna walk you through the basic premise. So first, you're gonna need a string, a string to curves, and then a fill curve. In the string, you can type whatever you want and put that into the string. It should pop up there. To make it a clock, delete your string, add a scene time node, drag the seconds output into a random space, and add a value to string. And then connect the string to the string in the string to curves. Press play and you should see it go up once every second. But this is no good because once you hit the 10 second area, it becomes two digits instead of one. We want it to always be two digits because the last little bit will always be two digits. To do this, add a join strings node, plop it right there, change the value to string to go into the strings part and not the delimiter. Then add a string, type in it zero, and put it above the strings in the join strings node. Now you've got two digits, but when you hit 10, the same problem persists. Now it's three digits, which you don't want. To fix this, add a switch node, change its type to string, and drag it in between the join strings and the strings curves. Now drag the value to string output into the true input. We're gonna need a lot of nodes, so buckle in or copy what I have on screen right now. Add a compare node, make sure it's greater than and float, and in the bottom B, put nine. Now drag out the A and select map range, result, drag out the value and select a wrap node. And then for that, drag out the value and select a snap node. Now select all of these nodes and hit control G to make a new group. Drag the map range result into the value to string. In the group input, rename the top value to seconds. Drag this into the value of snap. Drag the increment to the second group input node and call this one seconds per value. Drag out the seconds per value into a random space and add a multiply node. Then drag the second value to the third slot in the group input and call this one maximum. Drag the result of the multiply node into the maximum for the wrap node and the from max in the map range. On the map range node to minimum input, drag this to the fourth slot and rename this minimum. Drag out the minimum into an add node and for the second value in the add node, select the maximum. Then for the add node output, put this in the map range to max. Finally, in the wrap node, change the minimum to zero. And make sure your compare node greater than output goes into the switch input. When you exit the group node, you should see something that looks like this. Now right now we're only counting seconds, so the seconds per value will be one. For the maximum amount of seconds we can display, it should be 60. And for the minimum, it should be zero. Now if you press play, it should work nicely. To add minutes and hours, add a join strings node. Make sure the node group is not plugged into the delimiter and instead goes into the strings. Add a string, in this one type a colon, then put this one above the join strings node. Select both of these and duplicate them and put their outputs in order into the join strings node. Now plug in the frame seconds to the node group in the seconds. And then the seconds per value here will be 60 because there's 60 seconds in a minute. The maximum will remain 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour and the minimum will remain zero. Now duplicate this node group one last time. Plug in seconds. The seconds per value is 60 times 60 seconds. The maximum is 12 or 24, depending on if you're weird. And the minimum changes from zero to one. Now plug this one on the very top. And there you have it. Your very own working geometry nodes clock. But most people don't have scenes that go into the hours or even minutes. So we're going to add an offset. To do this, add a math node. It should already be set to add and put it right here. Connect the output to all the seconds in every node group. You should have three total outputs. Now for the value, plug this into the group input, the second one. And if you want, you can rename this offset. Now if you slide this up, you should see the time go up accordingly. 
If you want specific offsets for each second, minute, and hour, as well as a time multiplier, you can copy this node set up here or download it in my Gumroad in the link in the description. And finally, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any fewer, fewer future videos.